Boundary Park Juniors from the Berry and Ratcliffe Sunday League. This the class of 91. Check out the redhead on the front row. This team produced four Manchester United first teamers. And that's amazing. Sounds like a, a nursery team for Oldham Athletic. Yeah, a lot of players who, who did play from did go on and play for Oldham as well. I myself went up to Oldham um, and played for the School of Excellence before coming coming to United. Was that a, a consideration, Oldham Athletic? Yeah, definitely. Bef before United wanted him, in. Brian Kidd and Archie Knox came to watch a, a school game of ours, and then the week after, I think they wanted to sign me straight away. They didn't have to convince you, or you didn't play boy or anything like that. Well, Kid Kiddo took me took me around the ground. Um, he took me and I like, called Paul Keith. He took us on a tour of the ground. So once you see that, then <laughs> I mean, there's there's not not many other places you'd want to go after there. And how old were you then? I must have been about 13. It seemed an effortless progression from the all-conquering youth team to the championship winning reserves, as if destiny was calling. The culmination, a fantastic night at Port Vale when Fergie's fledglings made their first team bow. Good cross. Yes! Beautiful goal. And Scholes has done it again. Did you ever think this ain't going to happen? Yeah, yeah, there was doubts, I think. In my, in my first season where I, I played a lot at the beginning then I hardly played again till the end and you know you, you do start to have doubts and I think that one day you might have to leave. Did you talk to the manager about that? Kiddo I suppose wouldn't you? Yeah I'd, 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 I'd go to Kiddo yeah and he'd say like go and have a word with him if you want if you want you know if you've got something on your mind and he always just said you'd, you'd get your chance and he was right. <laughs> Do you get envious at all of the likes of Geek Two or David Beckham? No. No, why should I? <laughs> I'm just worried about the lifestyle thing. No, I'm I'm happy. I'd I, I like to come home after after I've done training and just relax in the afternoon. Would you say you're the opposite of, of Geek Two and Bex? Because they do know. like having the picture taken and they do like the odd party here and there, don't they? And I'm not sure. I, I think they get sick of it most of the time, to be honest, but you know, that, that's up to, up to them at the end of the day. From Boundary Park Juniors all the way to international stardom with England, quite staggering when you think about it. It's doubtful we'll ever see the like again. So for United you've succeeded Cantona and for England you've succeeded Paul Gascoigne. Well, yeah, people say that, it's, it's nice to hear, but they, they were great players. I think if I go on to be anything like the players they were, then I'll, I'll be very pleased. Do you actually appreciate how big a star you are? No. Really? I'm not a big star. What? <laughs> I'm not. You play for England, you've played in the World Cup, you play for Manchester United, you're probably going to play in the European Cup final. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yeah. And you still, but you tell nothing's changed? No. You're not a big star? No. You're just Paul Scholes from Boundary Park Juniors? Yeah, I'd like to think so, yeah. <laughs> and here's Paul Scholes, the natural. 